How you guys doing today? Mark Franks here. Guys, today we're gonna answer the question, what is an HDMI switch? Not to be confused with an HDMI splitter or a USB adapter, but guys, what is an HDMI switch? So I got this switch from Amazon. This is the uh, Canovo switch, it's 350BN. Guys, I think I got it for about 50 or $60. I'll leave it down in the description below. But guys, this is just how it looks here. I'm showing you guys. But to answer the question, what is an HDMI switch? Basically guys, it's similar to a computer switch. It just extends your ports. So it extends your ports. Now with an HDMI switch here is extending your HDMI ports on your TV, whereas with a computer switch, it's just extending your ethernet ports on your computer, all right? So take for instance, guys, if you have like an older TV, a lot of older TVs only had two or three HDMI ports. Take for instance, you want to extend that. What you do is you'll take one, one of the HDMI ports in the back of your TV, you'll plug it into the output here, output HDMI here, and then you have three free HDMI ports where you can hook up your devices to. All right, so it's just extending the HDMI ports that's on your TV. Now, another thing that it can do is, now let's say since you have a bunch of devices, guys, and you don't wanna run wires, so in the back of your TV, let's say you have three or four HDMI ports, and you have three or four devices down below, you don't wanna run uh, HDMI cords to each device. It just looks kinda tacky, just run all those wires down from your wall. Well, what you'll do with this uh, switch here, you'll run, you'll run one HDMI wire, you'll put it in this outlet here, and then you're down below, you'll put all your devices into these, um, into these HDMI outlets. Now you can get uh, a bigger set here. I do, I'm just showing you here, this, this one, again, $56, I think it was only three ports. I'll put the ones that are five, six, seven ports down below. All right, so that's how it works, guys. It works to extend your ethernet ports and also kind of to, to make your wires look a little bit better. You didn't have a bunch of wires just going down. You can just have one wire here, and then, then you have several devices connected to your HDMI switch. It also carries 4K and 60 Hertz. I think the ones that were a little bit older, they only have 4K and 30 Hertz. So don't worry about playing uh, the highest resolution. You can get that done, guys. Another thing about it also is, um, hypothetically, you were to stick your, uh, your Xbox HDMI in here, and turn your Xbox on, it'll automatically switch for you guys. So it does automatically switch and I'll put the compatibility list down below because some devices will not automatically switch. You'll have to switch it out. Speaking of switching it out, this device also comes with remote control. So it's similar to a TV guys. With remote control, you just switch the, the, different, um, the, different, the different HDMI ports on, the, on your uh, device here. So when you hit that button, it'll just switch to different devices, all right? So now, when a lot of people get confused, so that's the HDMI switch, where a lot of people get confused is the HDMI splitter. So this, guys, is the HDMI splitter. So this primary job, this thing is to duplicate your screen. So let's say you have a barbershop or you have a restaurant and you want multiple, uh, you, want, you want to play multiple monitors at the same time. Let's say there's an NFL football game on and you want to play multiple TVs at the same time, then you'll use an HDMI splitter it would basically duplicate all your screens. So again, this is an HDMI splitter, it's made to duplicate your screens. It can duplicate your monitors and it can duplicate your TVs. Now this, and we, they also get this confused, this is a USB adapter. Now this is made to extend your monitors for multitasking. This is if you, know, you have a computer, you'll plug this into your computer, this is a USB-C tip. Guys, you can also get this in a USB 3.0 or a USB-A tip and with the uh, two HDMI cords, I mean, two HDMI ports here, but this is made to extend your monitor, give you more screen real estate, guys. So this is to extend it. You can extend it to a, even a dual monitor setup or a triple monitor setup, all right? So it depends on how, what you have going there, but this USB adapter is made to extend your monitors, all right? So again, HDMI switch, this is going to uh, extend your ports, your HDMI ports on your TV. <laughs> HDMI splitter. This is going to duplicate your ports either on your monitors or on your TV. And a USB adapter here, either you have a USB-C adapter or you have a USB 3.0 or USB-A adapter. This is made to extend your monitors for multitasking on your computer. 
all right but today guys i just want to elaborate on the hdmi switch i'm going to show you guys how to how this thing operates how to get it going let's go ahead uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next phase here i'm going to show you how to operate this particular device let's get it done guys so let me go ahead and show you how to operate this hdmi switch now what i'm going to be using today i'm going to be using my sony blu-ray player my xbox one and my surface pro 7 plus laptop slash tablet all right so guys let me show you a quick procedure of what i'm going to do here so i'm going to take that long hdmi uh, cord there that's coming from the tv i'm going to plug that into where it says output right here now the rest of my devices my blu-ray player my xbox and my laptop they're going to go into these these slots right here all right so i can put my xbox one right here I can put my Blu-ray player right here and I can put my laptop here. Now that's vice versa. I can, it, it can be in any order, but this is how it goes. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So the first HDMI cord that I want to hook up is the HDMI cord that's running from the TV. So we're, let's go ahead and hook that up first. And this is going to go into output. So see output here. I'm going to hook this into output. This is coming from the TV. It's hooked to an HDMI slot in the back of your TV. All right, so the next one I'm gonna hook up, let's go ahead and hook up the, I'll go ahead and hook up the Xbox One. I'm gonna put that into, let's go ahead and I'll put that into input three. Then I'm gonna hook up the Blu-ray player, which fell here, let me get it. I'll put the Blu-ray player into input two. And then lastly, I'm gonna hook up my laptop and I'll put that into input one. So this is what it looks like. And lastly, what I'm, what I'm gonna do is connect the power cord to the, to the switch here. All right, guys, so I have all the devices on. Everything's hooked up to the HDMI switch here. So I'm gonna show you how it looks on the TV. So this is a Fire TV. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to HDMI 2 because I'm running everything to HDMI 2 here from HDMI 2 port to, all my, uh, to the switch to all my devices. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to HDMI 2. Let's go to settings. Now, obviously this will be different for your TV. You'll probably have to press input or source. Go to input and I'm gonna go to HDMI 2. And right now this one's on the Blu-ray player, but I have the remote control here uh, that uh, comes with the Canova switch. You can, also, you can also change the different inputs on the switch itself. It says switch, you can just press the button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the input and let's go to a different input. Everything is on right now. I'm gonna show you how seamless this is. You just go ahead and hit the remote. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, so now that's on the Xbox. Hit it again. Let's take it aside. All right, now this is the extended version of my laptop. Now I did say that a, a switch does not extend, but it extends to one monitor. It's not a dual monitor, uh, dual monitor adapter. Guys, it doesn't, it's not gonna display dual monitors or triple monitors or quadruple monitors. It's just gonna extend the current monitor that you have. Now you want a dual monitor, you need a USB adapter. But this is what, this is how it does it. So I can go back and it's very seamless, guys. Guys, it's very seamless and it's very easy. You have one, two, three here. If you know exactly which ones you put into one, two, and three, you just hit one. That's gonna go back to the to this one here. Hit two. That'll go back to the, uh, the Blu-ray player. And if I hit three, that's gonna go to my Xbox. So that is, is that easy, guys. Now let me show you how the automation works when you turn it on. Some of you guys are gonna want some type of automation. So basically, if you turn your device on, you're gonna want your TV to automatically turn to uh, the, this, the HDMI port that it's playing on. Now my TV, I have a Fire TV that's capable of doing it. It already prompted me and I went ahead and checked the box that don't, uh, so don't 
I'll pull up this message again, but it, it is capable of doing that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this 4K player off, turn it off right now. All right, now it's off. I'll wait for the grid. All right, now it's off, completely off. So when I turn this 4K player back on, this TV is automatically, is on the home screen right now, it's automatically gonna go to HDMI 2, which is being fed to this switch here, which the, which the switch is being fed to the, the Blu-ray player. So as soon as I turn this on, my TV will automatically switch. Let me go ahead and press the button now. And it says input switch, TV input switch to HDMI 2. So what I can do now is I can just play the Blu-ray player. Now let me go ahead and try that for my Xbox One now. I'm gonna go ahead and back, go ahead home, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button here. And again, I'll put the what's compatible, what's not compatible for doing this automation. I'll go ahead and put that in the, in the, the uh, description below. So, all right, so let me go home. All right, it's back on home and I turn my Xbox off, it's off. So let me go ahead and turn the Xbox back on and see if this one will automatically go back to HDMI 2, which is being fed to the Switch, which the Switch is being fed to the X Xbox, or vice versa, Xbox is being fed to, fed to the Switch. So let me go ahead and press this button here. And let's see what it does. All right, so my Xbox One, now this is an older machine. Um, I'm not sure if the Xbox S or the Xbox X, I'm not sure if they will automatically switch over, but for the Xbox One, this is, this is pretty old. It's a pretty old machine. It is not automatically switching like my Blu-ray player. And I'll put what's compatible again and what's not compatible. But if that doesn't work, so I'll just go ahead and go back to input two. And this is gonna be different on every TV. Well, some of your TVs you might turn on, it's just automatically on, uh, on HDMI 2. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and go to the Xbox. And here we go. And that's Xbox. So it did not switch on the Xbox. So I'm going to go ahead and let me see if it'll switch while it's on here, while it's, it's on the switch box here. So we turn this off. And we'll turn it back on and let's see if it switches while it's on the switch here. And it did switch. So this is why it's on this is why it's on HDMI 2 already and on the home page. It did switch. So let me see if the Xbox do the same thing. This is the menu for my Blu-ray player. So I'm gonna turn this off. Let me see if the Xbox will do the same thing while it's on the Switch because some of your TVs, when you turn them on, it might just automatically be on HDMI 2. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the power button and see what it does. And then we'll know for sure for this Xbox One. All right, so I turned it on. It should be coming on now. So it is not automatically switching. You just have to do that manually either with your remote control or go to the box itself and hit the switch button, but it does still work. So this is the Xbox One and it does still work. So, so that's how you guys, that's how you do that. All right guys, so just to be thorough here, I want you guys to listen to the audio as well as the video. So this will pass through audio through the HDMI switch as well. Now I have a sound bar, which is going to another HDMI slot in the back of my TV. It's going to an HDMI ARC slot. The ARC stands for audio return channel. So I should be able to play my sound bar on each one of my devices here. So let's see how, let's see how, how, how we can get that done. So I'm gonna do the, um, let's go ahead and do the Xbox first. So right now I'm on the laptop. That's this DVD player. All right, here's the Xbox. I'm gonna go ahead and click here. And the other session. And I can already hear it coming through my sound bar. I just want you guys to hear it. Now, I can hear obviously as a surround sound system, but you can still hear 
the volume and everything and it sounds it sounds good just from the introduction so let's see if we can get some music here and there we have it it sounds it sounds good it's coming from my sound bar all right so what i'm gonna do now so i'm gonna go to my laptop and i'm gonna play a song on a laptop here sounds good I'm getting a whole lot of bass on my end sounds great and this is just my laptop hooked up to my tv all right lastly let's go ahead and do my, my blu-ray player i'm just letting you guys know how to sound how it sounds so before i even hit play this is the menu and the menu, or I can already hear the sound on the menu. So I'll just let you guys know that the audio return channel, it works through the HDMI switch as well. So if you have your sound bar, you have it plugged up to the, um, to the back of your TV, it works in that as well. All right, so now this HDMI switch itself, this does not have the audio return channel on the device itself. I believe you can just have to hook it up to your TV. But I have it hooked up to one of the slots in the back of my TV that's compatible for ARC. And it works through, my soundbar works through the HDMI switch. So I just want to let you guys know that. All right, guys. So that's it. That's a review of Canova's HDMI switch. Guys, this is a great device. I highly recommend it. Very useful. If you're trying to extend your HDMI ports on your TV or you want to get rid of some of that wire clutter, this is definitely your go-to device. I'll leave it down in the description below. Just go ahead and hit on that link if you want to go purchase it. Now guys, if I really help you out in this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Guys, I promise you there'll be many more videos to come and I would love to have you on this journey with me. But other than that, guys, you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video.